morning. How you all doing? We all could take Hope to get her doctor's appointment. Tell them good morning, Hope. Say good morning. Hi. And, uh, we, of course, I got my baby girl Faith with me. <laughs> and so, yeah, um, as you all know, I do not even turn it down in there. I do not give them... Um, let them get shots. They just go every year to get their regular um, appointment done. And so she actually got to go to um, to see a specialist for her dental care because she would not cooperate with the regular dentist. So we have to take her uh, to a specialist to see, uh, to see a dentist. Okay, let me tell y'all a little bit more what's inside this green folder. Um, the particular doctor that she's going to, they want her to have a, um, a physical. Yes, uh, because they is going to have to put her to sleep in order to do the, um, the, the um, her dinner work on her. But um, it's going to be minor, you know, some mile, and I'll be right there in the room with my baby. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what's in here. They just wanted um, her to have a physical from her regular pediatrician before um, the dentist do their work. So all right. They actually have one of those at home. Yeah, so most of the patients and parents that come here, they really don't know about this one. So, um, and this is a good place for me to talk since the world says she's autistic, but uh, this is a good place for her. Hey, baby girl. Why, Hope? Why? Stand it up. Now mash it. Mash it. Mash it, Mama. Push down. Look. Just check my memo on my phone. I actually, um, I hope we're supposed to come here on the sixth, but um, we went to the beach on the fourth, and I was just trying to see get things in order at home, and time just slipped away from me. So I noticed uh, um, yesterday. I said I forgot my baby appointment, so I made her another schedule, and I told them as soon as possible. So they scheduled her for today at eight fifteen. And on my memo, Faith and Zach check up appointment is also today at one. So I gotta come back here. Now, if I was thinking, or if I would have known, I could have brought Zach because I would have had Miss Faith with me. And maybe they could have possibly saw all three of them. But I gotta come back. And it's it's not far, about a 15 minute drive, so it's okay. <laughs> Mom life. Seven. Mom of seven life. Eight, eight, eight. Now, first two, they did it. Four and uh, 17. But these last five, they keep me on my toes. But life by choices and I chose. Like I was saying, life by choice and I chose to have my babies and I wouldn't have it no other way. As long as I'm on this earth, I'm going to raise and train them up any way to go. And that's only through the poor word of God. So, all right. Hopey. Ho. Ho. So, you're just going to ignore me.
Okay, we're leaving the doctor's office now. And she was a good girl. I actually had to hold her when she got ready to examine her ears. And she got a sucker. And Miss Faith has one as well. Hey, Mama. Hey. You did good for the doctor. You want your sucker? You want your sucker? Let's see, let me open it for her. Hey, my baby. That's my baby girl. Ta-ta. Say thank you. All right. Now I'm back at the doctor's office with Faith and Zachariah. She actually changed dresses. Zachy. All right. You ready for your checkup? Yeah. What you don't have to worry about getting? A getting shot. That's right, because we don't do that. But we was getting shot when I was little. I didn't. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, you was a good patient. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm back with these two now. And they say, well, you could have brought them when you brought home. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't check my memo until after I was in the doctor's office. Oh, what's her memo? So, all right. Just, um, just something that you write for, like, Tweety memory. Bird, your uh -huh. I used to love Tweety. <laughs> And this little girl, Faith, weighs 92 pounds. I think a lot of it got to do with her height, because as you can see, she's very slim. <laughs> so yeah, she's tall. And Zachariah weighs 63 pounds, but he's growing as well. Yeah, I know, because the camera on you. So we're just waiting on the nurse to come in. And she was like, oh, well, I told y'all that, that I had to come back. So, yeah. Look at my hair, y'all. Oh, my. Show it looks short, don't it? Don't let, that, don't let it fool you. Still got some on my mouth. My. Mm -hmm. I did have oatmeal and toast before I came. My. Show but them the yeah. Oh, yeah. When the frozen room. Anna and Elsa. And, yeah. and Crystal. So, okay. So we're leaving the doctor's office now, me for the second time in faith. And there's Zach, and it is raining. So, but I'm not complaining for real because it's been hot. So, okay, this is the end of the doctor's appointments today. Bye. Bye bye. So we got off the road and came into CC's Pizza because it's still um, raining hard out there. When I was on the interstate, um, the cars were just like at a standstill. So I said, so we're going to get off this exit and go somewhere until it slapped down. So I, I really want to be at home with my other babies. But the weather's not allowed me to right now. If the cars was moving on the interstate, I would have kept going, but they, they just stopped. I'm like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so, yeah, we had CC's Pizza. I was hungry too. Yeah, so I'm very glad it happened. <laughs> we finna leave CC's now. It is clearing, it stopped raining. So, um, when we left the doctor's office, I told him we wasn't going to the dog pound because it was raining so bad. But since it's clear, we're gonna go and then happy now. Put the seatbelt on, young lady. Young man, put the seatbelt on. Oops, gotta go. Let me see who is this calling. Bye, for now. <laughs>